Hundreds of 911 calls are flooding dispatchers in Oakland every single day. Many of them are reporting fire and medical emergencies, but it's a tough task to balance all of it when the fire department's communication center is understaffed. KTVU investigative reporter Brooks Jarosz joining us now live from the newsroom with a look at the challenges those dispatchers are facing. Brooks? Well, Alex, I've learned you have to be a multitasker to be a dispatcher, and calls can be mentally demanding. Imagine being on the phone and staring at a series of screens for eight hours only to be told you're needed to stay another eight hours. Well, there's a small yet mighty group of dispatchers doing that in hopes that no calls go unanswered. Fire medical address of the emergency. When help is needed, this is Ground Zero, Oakland Fire Department's communications dispatch center. We are the first first responders. We are the ones that pick up the phone. We are the ones that are trying to calm the callers before the firefighters or the police or the paramedics get there. And these days, they're very busy, fielding at least 300 calls a day. Is she still unconscious? From medical emergencies to massive fires, car crashes, and increasing crime across the city. Young people getting shot, women getting shot, kids getting shot. I mean, it's it's... It kind of ties with you mentally as a dispatcher, so you try not to bring that stuff home. It is taxing and it does take its toll. Staffing is the biggest challenge, says fire communications manager David Eberly. Many of these multitaskers are working mandatory overtime. Right now, only a dozen dispatchers run this place 24-7 when there should be 20 people here. I leave in the afternoon, say goodbye, and the same dispatchers that I said goodbye to have beat me the next morning and are working a shift. And that is that breaks my heart. OFD is hiring, especially with a 20% surge in calls since the start of the pandemic. Down the line, I'll tell you exactly what to do next. Truly talented emergency response professionals. Not only are they answering multiple calls from the citizens and the residents calling in the actual emergency, but they're actually dispatching our personnel to the scene. At the same time, they're also calling in mutual aid just like they did during a major fire between I-580 and Quigley Street last week. It was chaotic. The phones were ringing off the hook. The radio was off the hook. We had three radio channels going. Consider them the unsung heroes behind the scenes. It's like any um, well-orchestrated ballet. It's a dance. One they perform with dedication and commitment to service, knowing once the fires are out, Everybody can just take a breath and just kind of relax after that. That is until the next call comes. We never really know what our day is going to be, honestly. Oakland Fire does offer mental health resources for dispatchers. The communications manager says they're recruiting and a dispatcher could earn up to $100,000 a year. We've put information about applying on our website, ktvu.com. I'm Brooks DeRose, KTVU Fox 2 News. Yeah, Brooks, I was going to ask, I mean, you talk about trying to do this with just a dozen dispatchers. It sounds like more help is on the way, but, but the question is how long it will take to get those dispatchers in there and get them trained. You know, an interesting story, Alex, I was talking to that communications manager who said they had someone on the job for a couple of months and it was so mentally taxing that he just had to say, you know what, this is too much, I can't handle it, I got to go. And that's where a lot of people are at and they say the best sorts of people for these jobs are people in the service industry. So people at restaurants that are used to multitasking, remembering lots of things, are able to do things and talk to people and also provide that customer service that is needed in times of crisis. That's that's very interesting. Well, hopefully they get more help soon. Absolutely. Brooks DeRose, live in the newsroom. Thank you, Brooks.